while it's the thought that counts, sometimes you get a gift that just doesn't quite suit. And if you can turn that present into something you'd actually love, I'm all for it. So Monique has a DIY to do just that. And Mo, I hear you receive some headbands in your stockings and are turning them into cute earmuffs. Yes. Now, if you're in the same boat at home, here's what you'll need to do the same. You need some faux fur trim, some felt, a headband, some scissors, a glue gun, needle and thread, stuffing, a marker for tracing, something round to make a circle template like a cup, and, uh, and then we can get started. So I love this idea, Mo. How do we get started? For this particular project, what you want to do first is you want to get some felt. And so I have some felt here, and you want to get it into layers. So you're going to have to fold it in half, like so. And then you're going to get your circle template. So we did a lot of baking over the holidays. So I had an old icing container that I actually used to make my template. And I like using cardboard when I'm tracing out things. So what I did is I just traced the circles out with some cardboard and that made my template. And so what I did is I just put my circle on top of my felt, took my scissors and cut around. And I did that twice so that I have essentially four pairs of, uh, two pairs of circles, so four circles in total. And also note when you're making your template, because everyone's ears are different sizes, headspace and things like that, you know, when you're choosing your template, make sure it's something, you know, that you kind of visualize yourself having the earmuffs on and then you'd be good to go. So once you have your felt circles cut out, then you're going to take your fur trim and you're going to also do the same, but you're only going to need two circles for that. So again, you're going to take your template, put it down on top of the back of your trim, and then you're going to cut out the two circles and then you are good to go. So they're going to look like that. So on the back. Okay. I see the beginnings of our earmuffs starting to take shape. What's the next yes. step? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to start creating our muff, if you will. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pair of circles and then you're going to sew around the edge. So I've already started on this one here and you're going to sew about three quarters of the way through because what you're going to do is you're going to end up flipping it over. So you're going to go ahead and sew about like that, pull that through and then you're going to pull it inside out just like so. So then you're going to have your circle there for your muff. Okay, and then you wanna tie that off and it's gonna create your little pouch. Cute, yeah. so once you get the little pouch going on, it's really a matter of doing all the stuffing, right, Mo? Exactly, exactly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stuffing and just a little bit, you don't need a whole lot, but you stuff it until your muff is fairly full. So get it in there just like so and while then, you're uh, while you're doing the stuffing there mo if you if you don't want to do fur tra trim or like the faux fur trim anything mm -hmm. else you would suggest for these earmuffs so when i was at the fabric store i saw the trim uh the fur trim here there's different styles as well there's the the like the rope kind and when you have your felt circle, when you're applying it, you're going to go ahead and apply it around in a circle. You can also use even other fabrics if you wanted to use something that was like if you want to get a softer felt, because they also have softer felt as well. You can also mm -hmm. use that as your muff. And so once you have it stuffed, then what you're going to do is you're going to take some glue and you're going to go ahead and glue it on the back of your earmuff. So you're going to apply your glue from your glue gun just around just like so. And then you're going to go ahead and just secure it on top of the muff and press, keep on pressing until you get it. And so as you can see, this is more of a dramatic fur and it's a bit <laughs> thicker. And so you have to, uh, I like the drama. You see why I got the headband, the head pad was like, okay, it was plain, it was black. And I was like, let me zhuzh this up a bit. <laughs> So you go ahead and you secure that in there like so. And then here's where the fun is. You're going to go ahead and start putting your headband in. So you're going to take your headband and then you're going to stuff it in there. 
And then now we're going to get into sizing of the earmuffs because you want to make sure before the final step of gluing it on, mm -hmm. you want to make sure it fits, right? You want to make sure it sits. Oh, I like those. On your head, you know, have a look in a mirror. Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah. And then you go ahead and then you want to secure it as well. So you secure it just by gluing the muff with your glue gun again onto the headband and it holds on just like so. That's so cool. You just cool. want to hold it and make sure you press it. I, I like to reinforce it with a little bit of thread as well, again, just to ensure that it's very secure. And then you're good to go. There's so many different ways that you could do this. Aww. I made this one for the girls. They had just a regular headband. What I did is I took some silver ribbon and I just wrapped it around the wire frame, put some pom-poms on, and then I did my muff. So there's also creative ways. And if you want to do a little mo mashup of DIYs, I made those headbands this last summer. Oh, you yeah. could actually do the same thing with the muffs. Yes. There's That's one. right. And then, yeah, if you visualize it. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have, I have <laughs> earmuffs like that. They belong to my daughter, but I wear them all the time because they're so warm. There's something about having that yes. faux fur, like it, they're beautiful to touch yes. and they're super warm and they look so cute and very stylish. Really good. Right? Put two of Moe's projects together yes. and make those amazing earmuffs or take right. a gift <laughs> that's not working for you and make it work for you. Thank you, Mel. I 